Hi, I'm Joe James. Today I'm going to teach you how to write a binary search tree in Python. So for the user interface, we want the user to be able to instantiate a binary search tree by simply calling tree. We want to be able to insert values into the tree. We want them to be able to call pre-order, post-order, or in-order traversal. So in order to do that, the user can type these commands and then the tree class itself will start those commands. However, the tree class is going to have a helper class called the node class, which is invisible to the user. But the node class will have recursive functions for each of these that does most of the heavy lifting. So we'll start by defining a new class called node. And first thing we want to do is define a constructor. And in the constructor, we want to have a data value, a left child, and a right child. And the left child and the right child are each going to be nodes also. So we'll initialize the left child and the right child to none, meaning there's no child yet. Next, we'll define a class called tree. So the tree will be the main interface for the user. We don't want the user to use the node class at all. In the tree class, we'll start out by defining a constructor. All we need to define in a constructor is a root node for the tree. Next, we'll define an insert function, which is going to accept a piece of data to insert. Now, our insert function is going to start by checking if the root node exists. And if it does exist already, that means there's at least one node in the tree. So we'll call the recursive insert function using the root node, which is in the node class. We haven't written that yet. And if the root node does not exist, then we'll simply create a new node using that piece of data and return true. So after we insert, we want to return back to the user either true, the node was added, false, the node was not added. So the insert function in our node class is going to do all the heavy lifting. We'll start by checking if the node that called this insert function already has the data in it that we're trying to insert because we don't want to allow duplicates in our tree. So if this data is already in this node, then we're going to return false because we're not going to add it. Next, we'll check if the value we're trying to insert is less than the current node, which is self.value is the current node value. And if it is less than, then we'll check if so if the data that we're trying to insert is less than the value of the current node, then we want to check if there's a left child already. If there is a left child, then we'll insert the data into that left child. If there is no left child, then we'll create a new node using that data. We'll add it as the left child to the current node, and we'll return true. And then if the data we're trying to insert is greater than the value of the current node, then we want to insert into the right child. If the right child already exists, then we'll call the insert function on that right child using this data. And if not, then we'll create a new node and assign it as the new right child for that node. So the insert function works recursively. It continues to dig down into the tree until it finds the right place to insert it. And then it creates a new node and inserts it and returns true if it does insert it. It will only return false if it finds that node already existing in the tree. So that wraps up our insert function. Now let's jump back down to our tree class and add a find function. So we want to search for a value when we do a find. So our find function will check and see if there's a root existing already. If there is, it calls the find function on that root node in the node class, passing the data as an argument. If there is no root node, then we know the data is not in the tree, so we can return false. Now let's jump up to the node class and write the recursive find function. So if the current node contains the data we're looking for, we'll return true. Next, we want to check if the data is smaller than the current node's value. And if it is, then we want to look and decide on the left child. We'll check if the left child exists. And if there is a left child, then we'll do a recursive find in that for the data. If it doesn't exist, we'll simply return false. There are no other nodes further down the tree to search. And if the data we're searching for is greater than the value of the current node, 
Then we want to search in the right child. So we'll do a recursive search down the right child until we find it, or we'll return false if there is no right child. So that wraps up our find function. Again, in the case of the find function, most of the heavy lifting is done inside the node class, which is called by the find function in a tree class. So the find function in a tree class works more as an interface for the user. So now we have insert and find functions. Our next step will be to create some tree traversal algorithms. So we're going to write functions for pre-order, post-order, and in-order traversal of the tree. So we'll go back down to our tree class and write the interface for these traversal functions. All the traversal functions are going to do is use the root node to call a recursive traversal function in the node class. So they're all pretty simple. Now let's go write the recursive traversal functions in the node class. So the pre-order traversal simply prints the value of the current node, and then if there's a left child, it calls pre-order traversal on the left child, and then if there's a right child, it calls pre-order traversal on the right child. Post-order traversal is almost identical code, so we'll copy and paste this, and make a few changes. And that does it for our post-order traversal. Now the in-order traversal is also very similar, so we'll copy and paste the code from the post-order. And we put the print statement in the middle. So that does it for our traversals. Now we have a node class and a tree class. We have insert and find functions. And we have three ways of traversing the tree. Now I'll show you how to instantiate a tree and insert some nodes into it. So we can instantiate a new tree called BST. And if we want to insert a value into the tree, we can insert 10 by saying BST.insert10. Now since this function actually does return true or false to tell us whether or not the 10 was actually inserted, we can also use a print statement. Now this will actually print true or false if 15 is successfully inserted into the tree. If we want to call the pre-order traversal, or post-order traversal, or the in-order traversal. So here's our final Python code. Here's our node class with the constructor, the insert function, the find function, pre-order and post-order traversal, and in-order traversal. And our tree class has all the same functions has a constructor, which only defines the root node, an insert function, a find function, and pre-order, post-order, and in-order traversals. And then to use our tree, that wraps it up for our Python binary search tree. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching. <laughs>